Okay, this is it, the student plug. And I like to hope and actually believe that you're actually good wherever you are. And you know, the, the jacarandas have bloomed, you know? And you know the story of jacarandas, right? Um, if you don't know the story of the jacarandas is that, um, the saying is that when the jacarandas start to bloom, it actually means that it's actually exam season or it's final exam season. So the jacarandas have bloomed, you know, very beautiful trees indeed. And it means we are actually in the final exam season. And, you know, as students, I think in this season of the final exams, we actually, sometimes we are confronted with, you know, emotions of being overwhelmed, emotions of anxiety, emotions of uh, fear and all of those kind of things. Um, and, you know, it, it, it happens, it happens. So, you know, still on this, actually, I've asked a very good friend of mine um, to give us a, a, a plaque uh, on actually how to prepare for the exams and how to actually approach them. So here is Melita Makale on how to prepare for these exams. Greetings, good people. This is Melita Makale. I'll just give you quick tips on how to prepare for these exams. Hopefully this will be helpful. First of all, I would say preparation stages. You just have to identify how much material you are supposed to cover, mm, the timelines. Make sure that you have your printouts, past exam papers, your memorandums, your course outlines ready so that you can be able to prepare. I would suggest you draw up a study plan if you don't have any now. What needs to be done? When should it be done? Is there a need for you to hook up with your classmates for discussions? Is there a need to go see your lectures for consultation? Establish that, that now so that you can know how to go about it. Uh, plan your time. Make sure that you don't waste time on irrelevant things. This is a very crucial time for you to focus on your studies. Um, to avoid being overwhelmed, just make sure that you divide your study tasks into mini to-do lists of some sort so that you can be able to get small chunks done every day. Uh, the don'ts, please don't panic. Don't try and do everything overnight. Uh, don't procrastinate. There is no time. And don't isolate yourself. This is a very stressful time of the year. Make sure that you holler if you need help. You reach out to your classmates because you guys are in this together. The don'ts. Do your part to avoid the should haves and the disappointments and the regret at the end, the regrets at the end of the exam period. Uh, give it your best shot. Uh, ask for help early before it's too late uh, the best way to prepare for exams unfortunately is to start early but I always say it's never too late get the job done it's worth it you'll be fine hang in there advice you have what it takes give it your level best the results will have no choice but to follow remember now or never and word of encouragement or motivation I'll just say all you have is all you need so you're gonna be fine <laughs> go and get them cheers so yeah, you know, um, Melita Mukhale is actually one person that I actually trust in, in, in this. Um, I think it's one person that I know that I think have seen a lot of exams. You know, she's currently doing her PhD. Uh, another person that I actually asked to actually um, give us some words of encouragement in this is uh, Rebecca Mohaule. So Rebecca Mohaule is one person that according to me, I think she, she has student issues. Uh, I mean, not no, she doesn't have student issues, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I think it's one person who has student interests at heart. You know, she actually she is the 
She's a student leader. She's a student activist. She's the outgoing DPT president of the Vets SRC. And yeah, and here's some few words of encouragement from Rebecca uh, Mohaule. Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Mohaule, postgraduate student at the Vet School of Governance, wishing you the best in this moment of your examinations. Today I just have a small advice for you, three tips on how you can make it in these examinations, guys. Number one, believe in yourself because no amount of motivation is going to carry you through in this moment. So don't be discouraged, just get your work done and believe that you can get it done. So don't fear anything. Secondly, work really hard, guys. Leave no stone unturned don't be isolated as you work hard consult with your friends your fellow students go to your lecturers and your tutors clarify everything that you're not sure about to ensure that you have that confidence as you go and write your examination finally guys persevere it's definitely a trying time but it's going to help for you to persevere because you will put in the focus that you require to ensure that you can do it so persevere don't be deterred don't be alone don't Yes, you know, um, those were great advice and great inputs by uh, Rebecca and Melita. And, you know, um, yeah, uh, hopefully it actually helps somebody out there. And still on this, maybe in the comment section, you can actually just comment of how, you know, what are your, you know, you know, exam preparation techniques or how do you go about preparing for these exams? What are your do's and don'ts and everything like that? What do you actually do during the exam season, you know, to keep you going? You know, um, this might help somebody out there because you know we have different ways and different approaches and you know you never know someone might read your comment and be like oh actually i think i can try that and they try it and it works for them so please 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 in the comment section below just comment on how you prepare for the exams and all the best for the exams let's keep on grinding and let's keep on grinding grinding and grinding <laughs> sure